Hello everybody, it's Amanda from scrimpingmommy.co.uk Thanks for joining me And today I'm going to make a little project Inspired directly by one of my team members um, Who's on Team Scrimper and her name is Donna Lester um, uh, in, the, in the top corner here A little icon will come up with the letter I And that is going to give you a direct link to Donna's YouTube channel I'd like you to go on over and subscribe And this is where this project that I'm doing today has come from uh, Donna has actually done it on her channel And I am casing it <laughs> The main idea being because I thought it was an awesome little project And secondly I want to encourage you to Press the icon and, and go and show Donna some support. She's quite new to YouTube, so I'd be really grateful if you went over and showed her some crafty love. So without further ado, this is Donna's lipstick box. And we cut a piece of cardstock, and here I have got Berry Burst. And we cut it to five and a quarter inches by five. All the measurements and the scoring will be over on my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk um, down below in the description box for the link. Right, so on the long side, so on the five and a quarter inch side, we are scoring at one inch and four and a quarter inches then we turn onto the short side and we score at a quarter of an inch always tricky I've slipped always tricky when I'm filming it you know and I need to have the scoreboard straight because when I'm working on my, by myself I, I normally have it like that so a quarter of an inch okay one and a half inch Two and a half inch, three and a half, that's gone wonky, two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. And that's it, that's all our scoring done. Okay, so I'm now going to uh, do some cutting. Now I have changed mine just ever so slightly from how Donna did hers and what I've done slightly different is if I just show you my model I've added little tabs here for the lid okay I don't think Donna had those on hers I just felt that I just wanted those on mine because I just feel it helps the box shut a little bit better if it's just got little tabs okay you can do it either or I don't suppose it hugely matters but I just feel it uh, personally I just like it that way so I'm using cardstock this is uh, I've said haven't I it's very burst beautiful quality card love the colour um, it's one of the new ink colours so I'm just folding and burnishing all of those score lines if you fold and burnish it can make it easier for you to see the score lines when you're cutting Okay, and then you can cut along the score line. So at this point, it doesn't matter which is top and bottom because these small sections, top and bottom, are the same, and these are all equal. So, first of all, I'm gonna just cut on the bottom here, I'm gonna cut up to the first score line and cut that small segment away, and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side and cut that away. Okay, and then I'm just going to notch that ever so slightly, just a sliver of a notch, just a sliver, okay, not massive, just a sliver of a notch, and then I'm going to, straight away I'm going to stick that down, and then that will remind me which is the top and which is the bottom of my box, I'm using tear tape, you can use your adhesive of choice. I do think that adhesive is very much a personal choice. Uh, some people love wet glue, some people like fast fuse, some people want to throw it through a window. Uh, <laughs> I'm using tear tape just for today. So I'll give that a good squeeze. Okay, so that is now my bottom. So on the top side we're also going to cut away that small sliver so down to the first score line and this is where mine uh, just changes slightly from what Donna's done 
um, because Donna's removed all of that section. I'm keeping these for tabs for the lid. Okay. Right, so, so this is the top. I'm going to just round those, if I can get my corner rounder in. Let, let me get in. If it'll let me in. Might not let me in yet. I might need to, yeah, I need to cut my tabs. So it won't let me round that until I've cut my tabs because I can't get my punch in. So we're going to cut up all of these three all three on each side up to the first scar line okay so cut all of those on each side right up to the scar line okay i'm cutting uh, carefully Right, now, so this is going to be our lid, and that's the flaps for our lid. And then this is going to attach, so this is the centre part. We don't want to notch these centre parts, so that's the top, that's the bottom. So on the bottom, second row up, push them tabs in and leave them pushed in for now, okay? Because what we're going to do now is... I'm just going to get some longer scissors and all of these other tabs we're going to cut just about in half, roughly. Just to reduce some of the bulk, but leave that folded in, you don't want to cut that one in half. Okay, move those out of the way. And then again, all of these small tabs want notching, the big ones don't, okay. So notch. Notch those, take that out, notch that, and notch that. Okay, get rid of that. Right, now if I fold those in, I should be able to round these corners. That's It's not essential, I'm just doing it because I just like the look of those rounded okay this is just uh, aesthetics as it were it's not essential to the design okay now the other thing that you want to do is you want to put a little thumb notch in the bottom of here uh, what punch did I use I used my three quarters of an inch punch so I've just gone in there just ever so slightly not even halfway about a quarter of the way and I'm just eyeballing where the middle is roughly okay you just want a little finger notch thumb notch whatever doesn't have to be massive okay right now what you want to do is you want to fold those out the top one out because this is your lid fold the second ones in and the bottom ones in and you want adhesive on there Okay, nice and simple, nothing difficult. Um. Oh, come on, tear tape, don't be naughty. I just don't have success with uh, any form of adhesive whatsoever once I turn that camera on. It just starts to be naughty. Uh, I haven't notched that tab, let me just notch that tab, I've not done it. For some reason I've missed it off. Okay. Get off. There we go. So, we want... I seem to be able to have lost the ability to tear the tear tape. Okay, so I'll cut it. Don't know why. Snip. We'll just snip it. Okay. 
give it a rub so that it sticks nicely. And that one, and that one, and then remove that tape. If any of it's overhanging, just flick it and roll it over. Don't matter. Okay, like so. Remove that. And where that's a bit long, I'll just gently roll it over. Okay, so you're just lifting these tabs now to the inside of the squares that haven't been notched to form a very basic box shape. Totally easy. Very, very simple. And it fits together lovely. Um, lining it up. I don't even know if I'm in shot. Am I? Here I am. I hope my big head's not in the shot. <laughs> oh. Give it a press. And there's your little box. Let me just give it a bit of a diddle in there with my bone folder. There we go. And then these little tabs here just push in. And it all shuts nice and neatly. Like so with the little thumb notch. Okay. And, you know, this is what it's for. It's going to hold my lipstick, which I absolutely love. Um, so if you, as Donna said in her video, if you're doing some videos, there's a little bit of room in that. So, you know, uh, it would fit most lipsticks, I think. Um, this one, it just happens to be a DR one. So we can tuck those in and shut that lid. And then I just decided to do a little bit of decorating. So what I did was I've made this little bow. I've done this off camera because I find them um, a little bit fiddly. <laughs> and I end up with glue dots up my arms. And I've used the bow builder punch. It's very straightforward. There's loads of videos on it. I've shown how to do them before. So I didn't feel the need. The only difference is inspired by samples from Stampin' Up. In the centre here I have used the new smallest circle punch which is this one which is a half inch uh yeah it is very very small so i've cut a circle and i've stuck that in the middle instead of having the wrap over which comes with the bow builder punch which again i find quite fiddly this is an easier way okay so i've done that so all i'm going to do with that is i'm going to use glue dot and i'm going to stick it onto my little box um, I'll double up with the glue dots to make sure it sticks. Glue dots on the back. Get off. And just put that on the on the top there, like so. So I've got. A, I just open my box and give it a press. Pretty little bow in the centre of my box there now. Let me shut it again. There we go, let me get it in the centre. And then just one little final touch that I just want to add. I'm going to use some of this, which is the, it's called Basics, and it's pack one washi tape. And it's all of these lovely tones, and um, the pinks and the, this looks like fresh fig. Um, so I'm going to use this one, I think. And I'm just going to wrap it around my box. I'm just going to give myself a pretty, a nice sharp. Uh, just cut that off. So that I've got a nice sharp start. And I'm going to start at the back of my box. And I think, am I going to go around the centre? I think I'll just run it along the bottom. Uh, like so. And the good thing with washi tape is you can lift it up if you don't get it straight. Uh, and this will just add just a little bit of a bit of fancy to the plain card stock. And it's um, just going to look lovely. Super fast to do. Nice and easy. You could knock up quite a few of these in next to no time. In fact, I might just run another shower. I? I shan't. I? I should have run that around before I did my thumb notch. Mm, I'll leave it like that. 
<laughs> if I'd have thought on, I would have run another line around there before I did my thumb knot and then cut it out and it would have looked even prettier. But you can use washi tape to decorate your boxes. Super fast, super quick, super easy. <laughs> How many times can you say super? So thank you very much to Donna for the inspiration for this lovely lipstick box. Hope you'll give it a try and I hope you'll go on over and uh, give Donna a, a subscription uh, and help her on her stamping up journey. Thanks for watching.